Thanks for tuning in to Tots on the Go TV, your source for hip strollers on the go gear and gifts. I'm Ellie Benefro, president of Tots on the Go. Today's show will be reviewing two popular travel potties. The Cool Gear Travel Potty and the Caboose are two of the best on the market, but they're very different. First, I'm going to review the Cool Gear Travel Potty. First, it looks very, very cute. It looks like a little briefcase for the kids. So you just open it up, slide it down to 90 degrees for the legs. Now, what's really great about this, too, is that it takes just a simple one gallon a Ziploc bag. Actually, it even comes with them too. It comes with a few. What you do is just open this up. There's a nice little lip here in the center. You wrap this around the lip and close. And there you go. You're all set. Also has too some storage space here. You push this in, and you can actually put some diapers here or anything else that you might need. Like I said, it comes with some uh, bags already. Now to close it, you push this here on the side, this side, put the handlebar up, and it's closed. So you can actually keep the bag in here for next time if you want to use it for a quick emergency. So we really do like the travel potty, the Cool Gear travel potty. Um, it does actually even seat a child up to 70 pounds, which is quite impressive. The one con though, or actually two cons that we've heard from some people, open this up for you to see. Some people have complained that the circumference is too small, especially for boys, and the lack of a shield for boys. Um, I've had some people as well complaining about the, uh, the pockets that have not, uh, that they're hard to open, but the trick that I'm finding is that you push it, push it in, and then push it in again to close this. So push it in open, push it in to close. So um, just little tricks to everything. But we've been very pleased with Cool Gear. It's also nice too because it sits up a little higher. And it's just a cute little travel pie or little um, briefcase looking that you can take with you anywhere. The second one I'm going to review is the Caboose Travel Potty. Now the Caboose Travel Potty, as you can see, is very, very compact. You can actually even use the, continue to use the little bag that it comes in. Comes looking like this. You turn this over, and what's really interesting about the uh, the caboose that makes it so unique is that the fact that you can actually use a diaper bag, a diaper, a regular diaper to use for containing all the uh, necessities that the child has. So what you do basically, there's there's lips on all four corners. Using your thumb, you want to. Make sure to put them very, wrap the diaper around it, and then underneath as well, you want to wrap the diaper underneath. So the child will sit on here, do their business, and then when they're done, we'll just take the diaper, open it up, and toss it. And what's nice with the diaper too is the diaper does absorb so much more. So you're done. And also too, you know, a lot of times you'll have a diaper handy with you. Clean it off, and then you're good to go. Now, some of the cons that I've heard with this is one thing because it actually is so compact, it's a little shorter for, the, uh, for maybe a taller child to use. Um, so that's one negative I've heard of this. Also, too, if you're past the, the uh, potty, potty training stage with your child, as we luckily finally are, then you may not be as apt to have a diaper with you. Um, so you might have to have, keep a couple diapers handy with you. Um, we always have one in our car. Another thing too I love about the caboose is that it is designed by some parents right here in Richmond, Virginia. So, um, so again, this is a Cool Gear Travel Potty and the Caboose by Bonico. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to Tots on the Go TV. Join us next time where I will review several different types of travel cots. This is Ellie Benefro with Tots on the Go TV. Till next time, get out often and have fun with your kids.